hey guys uh, today i'm going to show you the dell display manager and how you can go about creating multiple custom layouts so let me open the app this is the latest version of the dell display manager you can only download it if you have the older version and when you try to launch the older version it prompts you for an update i'm not sure if you can go to their website and download the same so what i want to show you is once you click on the open manager link here and go to easy arrange and then in the newer software if you right click there are many options i have as you can see i have already created custom layouts and renamed okay so let me uh, show you how it works so i just click on it so you see the layout and then i open the window i just need to move it around and it snaps just like that okay so it's very good if you're watching trying to watch a youtube video you know you know it easily snaps you have one one window for your youtube you're working on the main window here so it's all very convenient there are other layouts as well and if, if you hold the shift key it toggles so you have you have a whole bunch of new layouts in the new version so just go check it out and let me just toggle the new custom layouts that i created so this is the two window and then you have just one left where you can you know swap just one window to the left okay so just one window like that and then you have a free area towards your right so you don't need to you know snap any of the windows you just have a free area right there and then you have one to the top right so there's nothing here so I just close it so any window I have open here maybe any size let me just resize it so you just need to snap it here and you have a whole bunch of free space right at the center so that you can do your routine work let me just show you how to go about creating a new one i have still one option left so it gives me one two three four and five custom layout options so i just uh, need to create a new one so let me just show you how i go about doing that so i'll open an explorer window say for example just like this and then i resize it like this according to my need so I just resize it I open another window so I basically want it here so on the top you are seeing the older layout don't worry about that we'll see how to save the new layout in a while open the display manager okay right click on it click on the custom layout and then click on save so your current window layout has been assigned to the custom layout button and that is custom layout number five so as you can see this is the custom layout five when you click on it it shows two windows that we just set okay you can go ahead and rename it i'm just say two windows okay two windows side just giving a random name saving it okay so you can see two windows side so that's how you go about creating custom layouts let me go to my three window setup for example i'm working here and then i want my so as you can see this is my typical uh, layout so i have my trading window here if i'm doing my trading and then i have a and then i have a youtube page open here to watch my youtube videos and then i have a small explorer window open here just in case i need some files well that's about the dell display manager there's one more thing i want to show you guys and that is about the u25 16d monitor feature it's a really cool feature that i have here let me show it to you guys so if you go to settings uh, you have this okay picture in picture option so i'm just going to enable that let me go for the let me go for the smaller one so i just enabled the picture in picture window okay there's nothing coming because i think i need to choose the right input so uh, there's multiple input options so you need to choose the right one so there's the second hdmi source that's my apple tv that is connected so as you can see i can connect multiple inputs so you can see that i'm browsing my apple tv here so as you can see the pip mode is just great if you want to have multiple sources connected to your monitor maybe you have a you probably want to do trading while watching so have a trading window open so this is an example of how 
you can watch uh, multiple sources while working on your PC so I have the trading window open and suppose you want to watch uh, let's assume it's a regular cable connection that you got here instead of an Apple TV and you want to watch that's how you can uh, go about doing it so this feature is very useful say suppose you're doing your trading and then you want to watch some news channel probably you have a cable connection coming in so you can hook it up or you can use your apple tv to you know stream uh, news content any of the favorite stock channels and then you can go about doing your trading so that's the cool feature this monitor has it's very useful if you're a trader or if you're doing multiple things do consider subscribing to my channel thank you